Let's start learning about charts. For this, I have created a new worksheet named report and I have typed in some formulas to create these summarized tables of information about the sales at our bookstore. And this information is based on our sales worksheet where we have all the information about the books that were sold, how many were sold, and we also use VLOOKUP functions to bring in the more information about the books. And then finally, I added in columns to say, what is the month number for the specific sale that happened? And also I was able to calculate the sales for each line item here by multiplying the selling price with the quantity I got the sales. Similarly, the purchase cost would be purchase price multiplied by the quantity. So this is going to be our source or data source for the calculations that we are making to create this report. And if you look into this formulas here, you will see that we are using some if function most of the time. I may also be using some simple operations, but it's a very simple set of information about the sales at our bookstore. And you can download this specific workbook and then take a look at the formulas to understand how these are created. Now, this is great. We have some information which are summarized or aggregated about the sales so that we can understand what is happening in the business. But these tables with lots of numbers are not that easy to understand quickly what's happening in the business, what's working well, what's not working well, which books are doing well, which books are not. You have to go through and look at the numbers. Sometimes when these numbers are large, it's not that easy to compare them when they are not very, very different. So Excel has a feature called charts, which we can use to visualize this information so that it's easier for the reader to interpret what the data is telling us or what is interesting about this data. There are many different chart types in Excel. We'll be looking at some of the most commonly used ones in detail in the upcoming videos.